act like we never left BDA and happy Thanksgiving first of all people I've been into a video but I've I've been lazy today I've been laying around eating going out to family's houses and it's just been rough so happy Thanksgiving and I hope you really enjoyed it if you do celebrate it um but let's get right into the, the reason behind this video and pretty much um my boy Adam Elakad he mentioned this and I've been doing a video on this for a while but I've been <laughs> procrastinating and it's about time I do this video but pretty much he left a comment on my channel and this is what he said he said ace scanlations aren't out yet but Mongstream said they would come out today just later because Thanksgiving scanlations are probably gonna get moved back to Friday or Saturday now I mean obviously due to recent manga panda bus and the kiss anime DMCA digital millennium copyright act tough times I support industry by buying all the volumes I can and now I think I'm gonna get the Viz manga WSJ subscription it's probably gonna be like this for a while if not permanently until stuff stabilizes what are your thoughts on it I know Oz did a video on piracy but I just wanted to ask you too Great comment, Adam, and I do appreciate you asking me that question. Oz did make a video on this, and it was an amazing video, just sharing his thoughts about what he felt about piracy and the whole situation with Mark Panda. And I, I will link the video below. It was a great um, video about pretty much the community and how this stuff affects the community. I just wanted to touch on that and, and give my thoughts as well. Now, piracy is a problem with a lot of things. I think music, you know, it's a lot of piracy, um, movies, and obviously um, manga. They're different than manga. It's a whole different thing because manga, I believe that the scanlations do more promotion to, for these manga than anything. I did mention that as well because a, a lot of these series, I mean, when we, you know, a lot of us watch, we read these series, we're not waiting for the official translations. That right, right now, the One Piece chapter isn't out, okay? And really, the whole community is freaking out because normally we will get it, um, I, I know before it used to be Wednesdays. We used to get it Wednesdays and now it's being pushed back to Thursdays. So now the community is freaking out. And me, obviously, I'm, I'm, eh, I'm, I'm okay with it because I understand the situation and what's going on and I'm willing to wait. I have no problem waiting for One Piece because I know when it comes out, it's going to be amazing. So I have no problem with waiting, but you see the the scope of this and how it affects the community because everyone is wondering what the hell is going on. So we know the issue with the, the situation with Manga Panda and pretty much with Manga Panda, people got arrested because what was happening was these um, scanlations were getting stolen, I guess the delivery driver, blah, 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 blah. All that other stuff. I, you can go Google it if you want to find out more about it. Um, so that is basically holding off, or that's a deterrent for a lot of these sites that normally bring it out early in the manga stream, uh, all these other sites that bring these stuff out early. Piracy and how it affects our community. It's one of those things where, where I wouldn't be surprised if these small sites, the manga stream, manga panda, whatever, they were employed by someone that is in relation to um, these official manga. Because the promotion that you get from this stuff is ridiculous. Like, you get free promotion because once you release this on these sites, these, these free sites, uh, like a site that releases One Piece and you see this new new manga, like like Oz mentioned, Fire Brigade of Flames, I know Platinum Men, all this different stuff, and you see this, he's like, ah, oh, let me check this out, and then you make a video about it. This gets shared, and it gets uh, channeled throughout all these different sources, and now people are like, I should probably check out Fire Brigade of Flames or Platinum Men. And this is the driving force behind the community. You take away scanlations, you probably wipe out 80 to 90% of the community that, that reads this stuff. If you did a poll as far as where do you read manga, do you wait for the official translation or do you go to an illegal site, uh, more people, probably 80 to 90% will say, I read the illegal scans because it's a lot faster 
and it's, it's just it's free <laughs> you know so I mean I know a lot of people that do that they do go and buy the manga they do actually go out and support the industry because they realize okay I'm reading this for free the least I can do is go out and purchase these volumes to support the industry and I think the the manga kids and the people in the industry they, they know this so I know this um, manga panda and this stuff I know the the, the people the higher-ups they're looking at it's like ouch that's gonna hurt because that's a major that's huge that's free promotion that's free marketing advertising and honestly if you knew how much marketing and advertising costs you would understand what this meant because the cost for flyers and paying for you know uh, to, to advertise on streaming and on radio and stuff like that it's ridiculously expensive personally I think that these sites you know if you want to kind of manage this thing maybe you employ these sites maybe you pay for these sites and own these sites if they don't already and you know this whole manga panda thing i, I believe this is this is something that was probably a, a rogue um person that said they're going to clean up this anime community they're going to take away the legal scans and everyone's going to be forced to pay for the subscriptions that's not going to happen bro people like there's some people that are just going to lose interest and it's like uh, that's just the way the world is and this is how the community is you should really turn a blind eye and let this be honestly if it got to a point where these sites wouldn't have these illegal scans how would it affect us as youtubers and people that make the content um, it would have a huge effect because we lose a lot of our audience okay because they have people that are casually interested and they're like well do I want to pay for this do I want to wait for this I may just latch on to something else and we would lose people that go to these scans, they read them, they get into the series, and then they go purchase the volumes. That's how this works. And if you take that away, you're shooting yourself in the foot, essentially. Would I purchase the Viz subscription? Possibly. I mean, I plan on doing that anyway. I actually just been procrastinating on that as well. But I, I will do that. But can everyone do that? Everyone can't do that. Everyone's not just going to purchase this and then like, well, Hopefully I get into these series. I no. You have to let this be. Piracy in our community, it's wrong but necessary. Based off the scans and, and the legal scans that you know most of us read and doing the reviews and different things like that from these scans, you I'm promoting the series for free essentially and I'm sharing it to all my subscribers. The the huge YouTubers, they're doing the same thing. And you just got to turn a blind eye. But let me know what you think, guys. Do you think that piracy in the anime community is a problem? Is it the driving force? What What do you think? Just let me know in the comment section. I do think this is necessary. This is something you just got to just let it be, yo. Just let it be because it's important. Like I said, if you want to control it, maybe you want to, I don't know, purchase these websites to kind of get some revenue from it so that you can, so they can kind of propel the community as a whole. So let me know what you think. Um, I, I think this is okay. If you just let it be, but have some control. Let me know what you think. Like if you did, um, subscribe. That would be dope. Have a good day, people.